That beautiful statue you see next to me is a statue of a woman from the 19th century, a 19th century poem specifically. And unfortunately, that statue has sparked an outcry, absolute controversy in Italy. Why? Well, first off, let's take a look at the a full body shot of the statue in question here. Only in Italy, a statue of an agrarian laborer in memory of a massacre of 300 people could take this form, 2021 in Sapri. Uh-huh. So, so she's, you know, the, it's like there's a focal point that I think most people know that I, what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Um, and so that led to a lot of uh, angry people, mostly women, for obvious reasons, right? Uh-huh. It's a little bit sexualized, especially when you understand the context and what this uh, statue is supposed to represent. So it's actually rooted in history. The statute acts as a commemoration of Luigi (coughs) Mercantini's Mercantini's poem. I'm not gonna try to (laughs) pronounce that. And was sculpted by uh, Emmanuel Stefano. (laughs) You nailed that one. The poem narrates- The poem (laughs) narrates the tale. Go ahead, John, go ahead, you read it. The the poem narrates the tale, no, I'm good. Uh, I I knew that word. So the poem narrates the tale of Carlo Pisciane, an Italian revolutionary and socialist thinker who led a failed expedition against the kingdom of Naples. I believe it's Naples. Napoli, okay. (laughs) The expedition took place in 1857 and resulted in 300 people losing their lives. Okay, so it's actually a very serious context here. Uh But despite the story, the statue has been, you know, dissed for being sexist, and politicians are actually demanding that it be taken down. Uh Okay, so it's not just in the United States where we want statues to be taken down. In Italy, they've got their own issues. But in this case, it's not because of what the statue represents. Yeah, the brand new ones there. It's not like this is a legacy of our war. It's like, no, you, this wasn't here on Wednesday. Why, now we have to deal with this? The artist behind the statue is livid about the fact that people are outraged. There could be 10 artists behind the statue. I wouldn't be able to see it past that plump rump. <laughs> you could fit a ton of artists behind it and you wouldn't see them. I. Look, I I think the statue is beautiful. I, I get I get why people are upset about it. I get it. It yeah, is they I did think. sexualize the the woman who's you know being represented in that statue. But I don't they know. They are. Uh, look, I think I would probably be fine with it. And the reason for it is it's one beautiful. of the chief criticisms is that this statue was made for the male gaze. Yes, it is. Of but course. turns out that's the gaze I have. So I actually I think it's okay. No, it's it's too it's oh, too sexual. Like when I think of like expeditions that result in hundreds of deaths, I don't think, well, you know, like it should be dignified, low cut, big cakes. That that doesn't seem like how I would have gone <laughs> right, in totally. that direction. Yeah. But it is it is a good statue. Mm-hmm. But it's too sexual. Like that should be for someone who is known for and their legacy is charisma, attraction, that sort of thing. What I want to understand is, okay. So art and beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. Um, What about sculptures that are nude, right? Yeah. The statue of David, right? It's the statue of David. It is. Okay, you looked at me weird, I was like, am I- No, 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 you're right, it's David. Right, like you got the peen, you got everything out in the open. Like, are you sexualizing, is that all about sexualizing a person or is there more to it? No, it was, Was that's fine. Yeah, I think it was supposed to be attractive. The difference is that the statue of David wasn't to commemorate like the guy who invented chemistry. No, I know. It's like, know. yeah. <laughs> so what I'm thinking, I'm thinking chemicals, bonds, ding dong. Let's see the ding dong. That's what I'm thinking. With with her, it's not that she's. It's not that it is a statue that is sexual. Mm-hmm. It is a statue commemorating the deaths of hundreds of people that's sexual. Yeah, yeah. Like if it was. That's a good point. Like a Betsy Ross, let's commemorate her. I'm thinking jugs. No, like that's when it gets inappropriate. <laughs> yeah. It's the juxtaposition there. Oh, jeez. All right, look, ultimately you're right, John. Ultimately you're. But it is a beautiful <laughs> statue. I'm not going to lie. Like it is. She's, she's beautiful. Uh, I wish that they didn't sexualize her. I'm not trying to minimize it. Uh, but at the same time, like, 
I mean, the balls on the on the artist <laughs> here, right? Like he's just like. What? And if he's what? ever commemorated, oh, I'm thinking it? balls. What's wrong with it? In fact, he's okay. I want to just go to him because he's not happy about this. So uh, Stefano, who has sculpted the piece, <laughs> stated that regardless of gender, he covers the human body as little as possible for whatever sculpture sculpture he makes. For this particular figure, Stefano explained. He had highlighted the body by simply <laughs> taking advantage of the sea breeze. <laughs> but you made it up. It's not a real sea breeze. He's like, no, you, you, you think I am a horny for the statue. It's not a so, it's not a so. I horny for all the statue. Every bronze, I a horny. Not this one, all statue <laughs> horny. <laughs> That's not the that's not the defense you think it is, Stefano. <laughs> That was of me. Your life. That was me being Chris Pratt being Super Mario. That's what that impersonation was. <laughs> that was amazing. He expressed. Fucking Stefano. He expressed. That is classic Stefano right there. <laughs> <laughs> he expressed that he had been shocked and displeased by the reactions to the figure. <laughs> Stefano stated that the aim of the statue had been to highlight an anatomy that should not have been a faithful instance. Or instant of a eight hundred instance, I think <laughs> a faithful version of an eight hundred right. year farmer. farmer or whatever. I don't know. But rather to represent an ideal of a woman. <laughs> no, that doesn't make me feel any better. Evoke <laughs> her pride, the awakening of the consciousness. No, he's he's definitely an artist. All in the moment of great pathos. Like that's how an artist would talk. He clarified that yeah. by contracting authority. Uh, that the contracting authority, my bad, had seen his uh, preparatory sketch and approved the design. Yeah, no, I don't doubt. That's the thing. They're not just criticizing him; they're criticizing the end result. But mm, the it's, end result. it's fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the rear end result. It's fine. Um, yeah, you don't need to. Not everything has to be sexual. His yeah. defense is real bizarre. No, I'm I glad. feel like don't. Like, don't punish him too much. Like one night in horny jail. How about that? Well, okay, all right. I'm Bonk. glad. I'm glad that we got to the bottom of this. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, Jr. So those are super fun. But you also get. Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So, all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.